Hello, good evening and welcome to uh, our second masterclass of uh, this year's Tradewise Gibraltar Chess Festival. And here with me, the lovely Valentina Gunina. Valentina, thank you for coming on the show. Thanks. Yeah, tell thank us about, you. just quickly before you start, uh, you're going to show us a game from a couple of years ago. The game is from... Uh, it's, it's a game uh, was uh, in the last, last year. Last year, okay. Just before that, tell us about your tournament in Gibraltar so far. How many points do you have? I have uh, three out of four. Right. And uh, my, uh, I had uh, the second uh, round such nice game with Nakamura. With tell us about that game a little bit. Uh, it was nearly, it was nearly <laughs> eight hours, I think you played. Yeah, it's about, uh, it was about eight hours, and I've never played such long game in my life, I, I, I think. <laughs> yeah, it was such intensive, and okay, uh, he's too strong, and uh, all the time he's just found some way to continue his advantage, so it was really nice. Yeah. So even though you lost, you were still happy with... Yeah. With the game, let's say. With yeah, it was my dream uh, to play uh, as much as uh, I, I can get. Uh, so grandmasters, such so a strong, so such a yeah. strong players. Mm. So uh, I was so happy before the game, and for sure it doesn't change the result. And what about your game today? Uh, I won today, uh, yeah, and uh, uh, today and uh, last uh, yesterday I played so quick after. Hikaru, I just kind of changed, you know, just because mm. it was uh, too long. And now I just played about uh, two hours. Right. So, <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> yeah, I hope tomorrow I will uh, get some so also so strong and then play And then play a bit slower. Yes. Yeah. Okay, great. So we're going to look at one of your games from last year against Anna Ushenina. Yes, it was in Kreta. It was a uh, European Championship. Uh, so uh, also an important match against Ukraine. And... Um, uh, All right, so. So, let's start. This is the, wi the, the European Women's Championship, team championship, did yes. you say? Yeah. Yes, and we got a uh, gold medal. Right. There. So, I uh, played E4, so I just started uh, recently to play E4 before I played D4. Mm -hmm, so, right. it's something new for me. So, uh, uh, we, uh, we play Rosalima. Oh. And I'm always afraid because it's new. I'm always afraid that I will forget some variations. Mm. So it also happened. So this is all theory. Yeah. And um, I will uh, show the critical moments. Of yeah, course, okay. yes, okay. yeah, it's okay. Because this is all some kind of theory. This was your preparation for the game, do you remember? Had you uh, prepared this, this line? Yes, and this was a critical. Uh, Move so uh, I played d4 and I forgot uh, my variation already. Uh, okay, it's a nine move, <laughs> but it's always uh, happen when you play something new. So uh, I played d4 and uh, she takes. So actually, it's also some uh, uh, theory. Uh, but uh, for me, it's like uh, I had some ideas of what I was watching uh, with coach, but uh, okay. Uh, with your coach? Yeah, with my coach, yeah. And uh, okay, suddenly I just forgot. Who is your coach? Yes. <laughs> it's who a is secret. Your coach? That's it's a good a question secret. for Nigel. <laughs> no, it's a for this secret. event, who is your coach? I have a coach uh, yeah. uh, who helped me, uh, yes, uh, but it's a secret. Is it really a secret? Yeah, it's really a secret. <laughs> So maybe when I uh, will win a uh, Women World Championship, I will tell. Okay. <laughs> Interesting. Uh, yeah. Interesting. But uh, in the Russian team, we have a free coach. So it's uh, super strong players. Mm. So super strong coach. So it's, it's really nice to have them in team. So uh, and it all that I played very well this game, so uh, that's why I wanted to show this. Yes. Yeah. So, it was also some um, mm, critical moment here. Uh, <sighs> Tell us why it's critical, why what do you have? Okay, for me it was completely new, you know, just uh, I didn't have uh, much uh, experience before with this, so now I had, <laughs> so, 
Uh, is H6 a good move instead of D6? Here. H6. H6. But just a question. No, I'm asking. This is um, Nigel Short. If you're listening <laughs> at home, then this is Nigel. Yeah, H6. Okay, thanks. I will know this. <laughs> yeah, looks good. Yeah. Um, so for me, it's uh, completely new. You know, even now I just uh, fall in this game, and uh, I need to remember, uh, remind me myself what I was thinking there. Okay, and uh, to be stop Bishop H6. Hmm. That's, that's the idea. Simple yeah. Position but uh, also, if I played um, knight c3, how you will make a castle? I'll play d6. D6 in this turn. Yeah. Probably. Maybe I will make the same as uh, in uh, in, the game. in the game. Yeah, just to, to take. Okay. You played that in the game. Uh, some kind of uh, so. Because uh, she played uh, the six, I took so she took, so and four after four takes. about uh, four four takes, then you have bishop bishop g five. So that's the difference. So I play h six. I knew it was a clever move. I didn't hmm. know why. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was some kind of uh, like in uh, in the game because she played also h five. And uh, after the game, guys told me that it's some kind of theory, and I told them, okay, thanks. So when uh, she played d6, could you have played bishop h6 straight away? Uh, Instead of taking. In this one? Mm -hmm. Yes, but um, mm, let me think what I didn't like. Maybe just a castle, no? Also. Or just take some here. Bishop takes e5. Bishop takes e5. Hmm. Yeah, but uh, yeah, it's and mate on D1. A yeah, but uh, <laughs> if if I uh, will have uh, this uh, bishop, just like like this, what? It's not F enough six compensation. F6. 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 Interesting. But maybe not enough compensation. I don't know. Yeah, seems yes. seems seems not. We have a strong member of the audience tonight. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, okay. Can we, can we go back? Sorry, sorry to interrupt, but if we play h6 instead, yeah, okay. instead after h6, knight c3, d6, and then after e takes d6, I want to take with the pawn. Mm, I also had some ideas here. Mm. If I go like this. Queen h3, okay. Yeah. Ah, you can make a castle, right? And maybe uh, some to jump somewhere. Yeah, if probably. I take, I don't know, yeah. but it's look interesting. Ah, like this, and it's over. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, not interesting. Mm. <laughs> so, but some some. Queen H3 looks a bit strange. Some kind of idea. Okay, if just to take, take, and I don't know just to develop, mm. just like that, and to put also. Looks like equal, right? It looks playable for black. Yeah. It's playable. I don't know so whether it's good, but it looks okay. Well, let's see the game anyway, because yeah. otherwise we'll be yeah. taking too many no, times. No, I, I, I don't. Way. I don't tell that I got some advantage here. It was totally equal, but uh, my idea just was uh, to get some interesting position. Right. So you surprised with one e4? Probably she wasn't expecting. No, because so for sure she, I, I played some games already, so uh, she expected, but maybe, I don't know, maybe also forgot something, because uh, before every game you have to repeat uh, a lot of variations, and after it's, you can forget about some, some, some of them, so for me it's all the time ha ha happened, so. Uh, but here she spent a lot of time, so maybe she just... Uh, was uh, like uh, thinking what she prepared, I don't know. And but my idea was to, to have some uh, difficult position and with some calculation as I like. Right. Yes. Just playing to your style. Yes, that's true. So, so she played H5. H5. Yes, and um, I have this uh, my 
commentary to this game. I was analyzing this. So, uh, I was, so it was also possible to play uh, what, I, what, okay, what I was calculated in the game. So like this, and um, I thought if it, I play queen h6, yeah, Maybe something, something like this, and also the Nigel idea. Mm -hmm. so also not so clear. But if I play knight e4, just okay. I was calculated this, and uh, wasn't. Does this give you anything? A little bit. Yeah, it's like uh, it can be. Not good for for black to to defend it. I have some clear ideas. F for sure, I will come back, and you know, just me, my bishop will yes will okay. take some All squares. Lines. Yes. Mm -hmm. So. Okay, it can be something. Yeah. So I calculated before she moved. So my idea was also to. Maybe to change these bishops, I don't know, just to to look for the king. Yeah, it looks quite nice for you. Yeah, yeah but it's, uh, yes, it's uh, equal, but still, still interesting to play. So, and this is an interesting move, but uh, it's also some, it's not the best move. And uh, yeah. she can get maybe better position, but uh, okay, it was interesting to play. And she had uh, less time than me, so so she took. She's right to take. That's the right move to take. Yes, because uh, okay. if you just make a castle, you know, just I also. And you got a nice position. Yes, uh, I can protect also just to, to continue or bishop before just oh just to, to change also was my idea. Right. So she needs to take, I guess, otherwise. So maybe instead of bishop d2, you could have played rook b1. You could have played slower, yeah. You could have yeah, played I, rook b1, I, I, I thought I thought about it, uh, but it can be uh, just a bit slow, you know, mm -hmm. just uh, to make a castle, bishop d2, and after just uh, without one tempo. So I thought uh, it's more interesting to. Your style is to yes. sacrifice and. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, I like to sacrifice pieces and <laughs> <laughs> to calculate and to have uh, so complicated positions. Yeah. It's uh, more interesting, no, than played boring. Yeah, I agree. But it's uh, good for master classes to sacrifice things. Yeah, and I think uh, <laughs> women chess is more interesting than men. Yeah. <laughs> 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 tell, let's talk about this. Come on, tell yeah. us. <laughs> so we are not so focused in uh, some computer variations. So we just make a lot of create, you know, just like women human are more creative than men. Yeah. Some human <laughs> playing, you know, I uh, prefer to play with women, you know, just mm. it's more, more fun. More blondes. <laughs> 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 yeah, and more fun. <laughs> <laughs> so, but uh, okay, some at least some action. Because, uh, uh, you know, because uh, I was following this uh, so Grand Prix series <laughs> and it was so boring because, uh, you know, just like to show each other the variations, okay, and just to make a draw, you know, and uh, one uh, guy who uh, saved my mood, it was Rapport, because yes, mm. uh, he played, uh, you know, unboring, so it was like, like a woman. <laughs> <laughs> we should wrap up this other woman. <laughs> That's a good question. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Very good. Yeah. I like it. Yeah. Okay, Bishop D2, good move. Yeah. So, of course, she took it. Great. So, and um, yes, she needs to take, in my opinion. And um, this uh, was an interesting move, but uh, as you can see, it's. Uh, some kind of mistake, because uh, okay. If you analyze, I mean, with computer, yes, uh, you can understand. But okay, uh, maybe better was uh, to play like this and to take some hmm, some difficult position. Yeah, because uh, black cannot uh, make a castle, because it's hanging. So I don't know. If black plays c5, is there something happening? Sacrifice. 
Yeah, I can maybe just a change, you know, and after to to jump on d5 with, right. with my knight. I don't know. It's quite interesting position. Okay, maybe they also can make a castle and after to take uh, this knight. Mm. <coughs> so I played some an interesting move, even if it's not. The best move, but okay, yeah. So uh, she also spent a lot of time here because it's a really uh, difficult position mm -hmm. and a lot of uh, variation to calculate. So uh, she also played uh, not the best move. It was she needs to make a castle. Right. Yeah. What In were you planning? What were you planning? What were you planning on yeah, this? Yeah, I also was calculated G4 because. Wow. Uh, <laughs> G4. Yeah, because of this. Uh, but it doesn't work, it seems, yes, because uh, like this, something like this. So, mm. and nothing for, for white. So she needs to make this castle, but she was afraid, I guess, of such, such possibility. So, so what should she play if she castles, do you think? Uh, I don't know, yeah, even. Maybe also like this was my idea to continue some a bit pressure. I don't know. Yeah. Pawn down. Yeah, <laughs> but still interesting. Okay. <laughs> 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 yeah. Okay. So she played bishop g seven. Okay. You yes. Uh, she she thought that it's more more safe. So okay, and I played. Bishop before, so now I'm attacking on seven. If you make a castle, so and I still want to. I don't know a lot of. Uh, I can jump on d six in some case. Mm -hmm. I don't know. It was some some of my crazy idea what to to jump on g five with some knight sure. and also just to you know just to to make a freeze this line to attack on the seven. So I had a lot of ideas. So she played a five. The bishop f3, so I'm just waiting. Of course. Yeah, and she played rook a7, because mm. she cannot, uh, still cannot make a m castle. So as it was also um, funny, funny position, because I also was calculate this move. Uh, so I played uh, knight g5, but nice. I also, yes, it was, uh, this move was so interesting, but it was hard to calculate. So I also saw it, but uh, it's going to be very funny. Yeah. This. Mm. Just yeah, very funny position. And Jeffrey, yeah. it's, it's so big advantage for white. I think so, yes. Yeah, because yeah, bishop g7 also was some kind of mistake. So, But it was too hard to understand during the game. So Does she have to take on d6? Yeah, otherwise, you know, just uh, she cannot go on somewhere d8, on line d, I guess. Okay, mm. so... I don't know, because, you know, just uh, like... No, this is not so, yeah. Yes, if you want to, as example, I don't know, just uh, to take, maybe, if I'm not yeah, wrong, course, yeah. if you take this, I will take here, and if you just take on g7, it's also knight f6, some kind of example. Mm -hmm. So, but it was so hard, so I decided I. But bishop d6 is the right move. <coughs> yes. Sorry. Yes. That was the correct move. Yeah. So I was calculating this, but uh, when you play for team and it's uh, also important match, you know, you and you play also white, you have to be very solid. So if well, yeah, if but you if already mounted <laughs> the pawn, come on, I mean, <laughs> yeah, but a bit okay, late to <laughs> but if it ju it was just a pawn, you know, mm. uh, but to give uh, also bishop, if I played for myself, I would uh, immediately play uh, bishop d6. Right, so you, yeah. you play quite differently when you're playing for the Russian yeah, for women's sure. team. Yeah, uh, for sure. Uh, for okay, uh, girls wouldn't uh, accept this for sure, but when I played uh, for my team, I played. I try to play solid, hmm. so not like in my games. But as you can see, it doesn't help much. Hmm. <laughs> so 
because um, girls told me the opinion that okay, they uh, when they came to see my board, what's going on there, they just uh, don't calculate, don't do anything, just uh, to wait for the end. Hmm. You know, because it's really hard to understand what's going on on my board sometimes. So they they just got used to my style. So. But you've won several gold medals with the Russian women's team, yeah, yeah. And, uh, the Olympiads and things like this. Yeah. yeah. So, but uh, I agree with them that uh, in t to have a team such a player like me, it's a bit uh, complicated, I think. Mm. <laughs> okay, some kind of nervous. But okay, what to do? So you played knight g5? Yes. Um, so I should make a castle. And I had some idea also to take to take and to play uh, knight g5. Because, you know, I, I, I want to take on e6, of and course. if you just go like this, okay, it's hanging. So, so I had uh, this, but she needs to play this uh, bishop f5, because uh, right, you, can see up e7. you can see this variation following this. Oh, rook d8. This. Rook d8, yeah. So, it's also un unclear. But when you are playing, you know, just so, so hard to understand what's going on. Even now I cannot understand. What is this last move? Did you rook a d7, what is this? Yes. Because um, uh, you, cannot, you cannot do something. It's like uh, if you want to take, uh, what's going on to happen? Maybe just to take something like this, because it's also hanging. And also, you don't have um, this. Uh, I don't know how to say it in English. Yeah, the square, um, escape square. Yeah, so escape square. Can, yes, because so uh, I want to play uh, maybe rook d d one or something like that. I don't know. So. But okay, these were lines that you saw. That this is computer analysis. Yeah, it's com just computer analysis. Game, yes, after so the game. So I didn't see. So I just uh, during the game, I understood that okay, your bishop f five will. Uh, I will take on the seven. Uh, also, I was calculating maybe rook d eight, something like that. And after, I just uh, okay. At some point, I just stopped because uh, as a human, I cannot understand all variations. <coughs> so I, I just need to put some uh, some evaluation. Is at the end of my relations. So I decided here it's I'm quite okay. Oh and it's her problems. You, yes. you got your pawn back? <laughs> yeah. That and now it. it's her problems. <laughs> she needs to calculate more. So it was my idea. And she had so less time. So she played uh, like this. She played rook b7. Uh, yes, rook b7. And I played h3. Uh, as I said before, uh, that I wanted to, uh, that it's. Uh, because I wanted to take on the seven in some point, so I need to protect my first line. So mm. I, ne I made this move. Yeah, it's uh, like a strong move. I really enjoyed my myself in H3. during the game. Yeah. <laughs> Probably your team members very happy when you played H three. Yeah, because you That's know, um, it was also so idea uh, if I just take uh, some kind of take here, for example. It's also mm. like. Uh, if I remember, yes, because uh, yeah, yeah. uh, everything is hanging, I cannot take. If like this, she will take and mm. I will lose on B, B1. So that was my idea. If I have this, it's uh, working. So it's like prophylactic. Yeah. Yeah. I, I uh, was reading uh, a lot of books of uh, Mark Dvoretsky. Right. So <laughs> Did you know? So was he ever your coach, Dvoretsky? Yeah, at some, you with yes, him uh, some, some days I was working with him and um, he was a great person. Yeah, and mm. uh, at once he was working as our team, woman team, so uh, it was a big pity. Yeah, you learned yeah. a lot from him? Yeah. I think? Yeah. yeah. Uh, especially when I was young, I was reading with my brother his books. Mm. So. Uh, oh, your brother plays chess? Yeah. Yeah, how strong yeah. is he? Uh, he was a candidate, and he played uh, such uh, uh, with such opponents like uh, Tamashevsky. All right. Yeah. yeah. So. And how strong is he today? Uh, he stopped uh, to play in tournaments, but he now is uh, teaching kids how to play chess. Okay. Right. Yeah. So. Does he follow you when you play tournaments like in Gibraltar? Is he following your games online and uh, things yeah. like this? Your brother? But you know, uh, he was uh, all the time, as my mom told, that it's uh, too nervous to watch it. So I need some kind of uh, 
hot pills to make it unso unstress, you know. To watch your games. Yeah, to watch <laughs> my games. <laughs> <laughs> so sometimes he just that doesn't want just to, to see the end of the result. Mm. So, so I was... Uh, okay, so H3, your brother was probably very happy when you played that move. Yeah. yeah. So I was, I was really proud of myself, as I remember. So, but now she got a lot of trouble this time. So, and uh, now I even can't explain myself now what was going on. I just was so focused on during the game. And here I just started to, to, blind, to blunder. Because uh, you could take sure. easily, just to take, and to take on a seven. And it uh, seems it's winning for white. And after the game, coach so asked me why I didn't play that and I didn't have transfer. I told, okay, uh, I don't know, just to make maybe everything more complicated. So, and she played C5, but the better move was... Uh, oh, you played G4? Yes. You know, sometimes, especially <laughs> when I play in for the team, I have to sit on my hands just yeah. not to, to play some uh, some ridiculous moves like that. <laughs> yeah, but it's really hard for me, you know, just because my style is like that. So, okay, I, I really don't know why I didn't take it. So I just played G4 just to... to to continue to we have fun. We can all understand <laughs> the G for the reason, yeah, we can see why. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and okay, uh, bishop f6, and it was unclear, but with sure. this last time you cannot calculate. So she played c5, and uh, I again could uh, take, and I, I don't know why I didn't take it. Uh, now it's so clear that it's an uh, advantage, but I don't know. Okay, I just wanted to make a mate, I guess. But after g4, if she played bishop f6, what was happening? I, it was unclear. Mm. I don't know what was happening, but uh, instead of winning, I just make made it it's so complicated. But Valentina, come on, please admit it, because you <laughs> gave an explanation for h3. You yes. gave an explanation about the back rank and all of that rubbish. <laughs> It's nonsense. You played H3 with the idea of... G4. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's right. I think, I think it was right. my second. Come yeah. on. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was pretending like, okay, like in Varetsky style, some prophylactic, you know, like I, uh, yeah. I can also play some uh, yeah. positional. Exactly. Yeah. Something you learned from Dvoretsky. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Stuff. I mean, come on. <laughs> yeah, you, you got my secret. Yeah. <laughs> Does it make any difference if you play rook takes e6 first and then g4? Because it just takes the bishop out of the equation to take it. If you play rook takes e6, let's have a look. A member of the audience uh, asking. This one. Instead of g4, rook is takes e6. Yeah, yeah. So rook e6, pawn e6, and then g4, just because there's no bishop attacking g4 anymore, and then you can try and rook one. Yeah, yeah, but. It, uh, it looks. You're supposed to, to, to lose uh, also. F pawn. Oh, sorry. Yeah, and. Uh, yeah, yeah. If even me I wouldn't <laughs> play <laughs> such uh, yeah, interesting yeah, move. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So G4 now, but yeah, yeah. but uh, also. Yeah. So, okay, uh, she played c5. And I took here. Right. Um, okay, yeah. Bishop f5. And I also um, have. Commentary myself, okay. I played H f6 and uh, it's written that uh, okay, I, my attack is over. <laughs> and now I, over. yeah, and I, now I can get uh, worse. Yes, mm. uh, but okay, it was my mistake not to take on a6. Sure. Yes, and um, okay, but she had, uh, I don't remember exactly how much she had, but maybe about one minute. Wow. Yes, and it's uh, only 25 moves, so I was also lucky by that. So, like this. I also have some ideas, you know, just maybe, I don't know, just to take somewhere on, on C5. And she got this mistake, final mistake, because um, if she played, if she just take, take, and I played, uh, Queen f6, it's uh, also... 
It's okay for black, yeah? It's okay. It's, it's, okay it's, uh, it's completely okay for black. But, uh, Do you think you would have most like G4 you played because she was in bad time trouble? That was... Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Something that... Uh, yeah, maybe. Maybe that's why. So, but she, she got a mistake. But you also, uh, when I was calculating for her, I also wanted to play like this because uh, it's not so clear what you're going to do. Because you also maybe want to, you know, to, to block uh, the rook on d5. But okay, I just take, take, and just mm -hmm. to take here. And it's, it's so weak squares. So. Right. And. Um, Girls after the game ask me why uh, you will see what I mean, why is I didn't put uh, mate, but I was so so nervous in this you game. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I saw it for sure, but I wanted to be sure that uh, you will see what I mean. Just the check here, uh, but it's uh, all already lost for black because mm. uh, you know a lot of so scares and yes you? now uh, my pawn is so strong so one mistake and so so I just play like this and uh, it was also made uh, which one uh, let me think it six I took yes it was uh, 96, yes. It's and not a bad uh, move, is it? Yes, and just to, <laughs> to make a mate. Yeah, but That's I what I would have played. played. I would have played 96. Yeah, but I, was, I, I wanted to be sure, you know, just, okay, it was <laughs> I enough. Was 96, <laughs> it's, it's no, I, I, it was uh, <laughs> already enough, so I decided, you, got, you know. You've got mates on F2 as well, haven't you? you got, yeah, eight, but eight, you know. Eight yeah, but. Uh, mates on H2, on F2. H8 equals queen. H8 equals queen. Pawn equals queen. Go on, get a queen. Now it's a short, has something Come to show us. Come on, let's have a look. What happens if you pick uh, a queen? Which one? Yeah. Yeah, this one, but yeah. uh, it's hanging. It's a rook takes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Queen takes. Queen takes rook, king takes knight. Yeah. F4 check. Mm. Yeah, but... Uh, queen takes. It's also made. Queen H4 check. Yeah. But this is more complicated, you know? <laughs> <laughs> so I wanted, I wanted to be <laughs> sure. <laughs> no, I just wanted to take on E8, e e you know, just to be sure. And after I can also <coughs> make a mate, why, why yeah. So. In fact, we should start with H8 equals bishop check, mm. you know. <laughs> yeah. So this was a massacre at the end. Yeah, it's mm, I mean So, uh, okay, it's, uh, most of the time it's my style. So uh, I really like to make positions so complicated. Is she a player you have a very good score against? You played a lot, Anna? Is she someone that you normally beat? You played her many times? Uh, not so many. Mm. Mm, I think uh, not in classic, <laughs> mainly in, right, okay. uh, in rapid she, But coming into such bad time trouble is... Yeah. 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 But I also made some, uh, you know, just to make it complicated that she needs to calculate. Right. So she spent, that's why she spent a lot of uh, time. And how did the match go? So Russia won the match? Did you win the match? Yeah, it was uh, the um, important because uh, other girls made a draw. Mm -hmm. So it was an important game. So I was so happy. Right. Yeah. And that was, and then you won the gold medals in the competition. Yeah. 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 Okay. I was on the third board and I got the second medal and our girls, uh, Kasinyuk and Agno, got uh, gold. Mm. gold. Now you've won, I think, Valentina, three times have you been Russian women's champion, is that right? Yeah. Three times. How does it feel to... It feels great, right? Yeah, it's, uh, it was great, yeah. But my last uh, Russian championship uh, not so good. I mm, finished like uh, about uh, six. Mm. Yes, uh, but it's, it's really hard, you know, because... Uh, uh, Russian girls are so strong. Of course. Yes, and uh, it's really uh, this event is the most uh, difficult event in, in the year. Right. So what about your brother? It's also very difficult. Yeah, I mean uh, <laughs> <laughs> Russian. Russian. Oh, Russian. Russian yes. Okay, right. Yeah. Yeah. No, yeah. I like Gibraltar so mm -hmm. much. So, thanks to invite me. That's okay. So, what is it your fourth visit here? I think? Yeah, it's my fourth. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Who has any questions? Anyone in the audience have a question for for Valentina about that game? Or indeed about anything else, no? Yeah. Yeah, who would like to ask Valentina? Someone. 
in our audience. They're very shy. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think you're more of an individual tournament player? What do you enjoy more, individual tournaments or team events? I like both, but you know, in a team competition, you have to be, uh, it's more stress, because you have to be more confident, you know, uh, I mean more, um, how to say it, uh, okay, not, not like my style. <laughs> yeah. Responsible. Yeah. Responsible. Responsible. Yeah. Yes. And that's coming from Nigel. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, and... Um, That's why the English always do badly in <laughs> 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 irresponsible. Yeah, because in my uh, individual tournaments I can do whatever I want and mm. I can create something new that I like. Uh, but in team you have to be very careful, you know? Because uh, our, our coach also strict. <laughs> so <laughs> but I really love to play in my team. And especially when we, we win some medals. Mm. So you're obviously a full-time professional chess player. Yeah, you, I mean you make your living from chess. Yeah. 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 What are your ambitions apart from the next tournament winning and doing well? Do you have any yeah, special sure. goals or? As a every woman, I think I want to to win world championship. Right. Yes, and every year I'm uh, trying to do my best to to learn something new, some openings also. So. Uh, have a lot of trainings during the year, so and uh, soon it will be in Hantemansisk. Right. So I also working for it. For example, when you train, do you have to finance that yourself, or is it paid for by your federation? How does that work when you have uh, a lot of coaching, for example? It depends. We have a, for us it's free uh, camp uh, about twice a year before some uh, event like Olympiad or European. Special uh, training camp, yes, which is yes, right. with all uh, with all team, but if you want to make an uh, individual camp, you have to pay yourself. Sometimes federation pay uh, for one one or two your uh, individual camp. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but they're helping us so much. So yeah, good. And you got some money to to improve yourself also. It's also nice. Mm -hmm. So I think we are. You're, you're well best. supported by yeah. your federation. Yeah, we the, the I think uh, anyway, yes, I think we are the best. Uh, who, I mean, who's uh, got such uh, strong support? Because mm -hmm. in our team we have also doctor and massagist. Really? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We're going wrong. <laughs> <laughs> no, people ask me. Um, often ask me, okay, you see, you got a medal because uh, you have uh, such support. No, before we got a medal and after we got su such support. So right, that was a reward. Uh, yeah, mm -hmm. so we, uh, this team, we just uh, got one gold medal and uh, we didn't have any, I mean, uh, didn't get uh, messages and so on. And after we need to, to show mm -hmm. Federation again, then we just won something. And okay, finally we have all right, you can have a massage in the hotel here. Uh, they have uh, someone to do that for you, I think. <laughs> no, it's better to get uh, from our massages, you know? From your own yeah, <laughs> especially <laughs> from, from Russian team. Okay, next question in the audience. Who would have a question have for a question. Valentina? Yes. Valentina, Mike. there's about 35 women in history who have the full Grandmaster title, and none of them have ever died. So my question <laughs> is. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? <laughs> Forever, and so, <laughs> how will you do it? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> you he asked me about something die yeah. to die. Yeah. <laughs> no woman with the grandmaster title, the full grandma, has ever died, according to Mike. Here. <laughs> 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 Why yeah, so it's, true. It's, it's true. Yeah. Okay, I didn't oh. know that. Okay, okay. Uh, Are you going to live forever? <laughs> Would you like to live forever? <laughs> um, yeah, why not? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay, I've got a question. Nigel has a question. Yeah. Nigel Short. Okay, okay, let's hear. You're mentioning the great support you get from your federation. The Russian Federation elections are coming up soon, <laughs> in early February. Who would you like to win? Kirsten uh, I uh, no, for sure. Uh, I will. I will support for uh, Mr. Filatov. Yeah. Right. Yeah. The Russian Federation. Yes. States when when uh, uh, when he serious. came uh, yeah. to our president, we got this uh, massage, you know, <laughs> and everything. Yeah. So for sure, I will support yeah. him. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so do you think this will be a bull? 
loan to Ilya Jinov there? I mean, the fact that he's contesting these um, elections and he looks unlikely to win. So Kirsten may no longer be the president of your Yeah, uh, but okay. Um, oh, yeah, uh, it's not, uh, I, I'm not sure if it's right. Uh, question to me, okay, I will pretend like I'm uh, just blonde Russian girl, you know? <laughs> 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 yeah, I want, I want to tell any secret, yeah. <laughs> okay, but you support Filatov? Yes, I support mm -hmm. Mr. Yeah. Filatov. So that means Kirsten's had it. Yes, okay. uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's also time uh, nice to speak. Uh, he was also supporting me during London. Yes, okay. uh, when I won uh, this rapid. Man, oh, this rapid, yeah, yes. when you scored 9 out of 10. Tell yeah. us about that. that was an I was there, it was amazing. And uh, he was also there, and uh, we, were, we were talking a lot, you know, he was supporting me, told me, okay, you know, Valentina, you have to win, mm -hmm. you have to show this man. <laughs> yeah. uh, well, yes, and it was, it was really great. So uh, it's also interesting to speak with him, because he was also uh, studying uh, chess, with uh, Gelfand. With Boris yeah, Gelfand, yes. yeah, who's Boris playing Gelfand. here, of Yes, course. yeah, mm -hmm. in Minsk, so uh, he's uh, well-educated in chess, mm. so it's really interesting. All right, what are your plans for the rest of the year? I mean, we just started 2018, but after this tournament, what are your plans after, did you after, know about? Uh, after this tournament, I will have uh, my birthday first. <laughs> your birthday? Yeah. When is that? It's the uh, 4th, 4th of February. All right. So is that uh, the election? <laughs> Uh, mm -hmm. Election will be at the third. Third, okay. So, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and uh, so last. We'll be celebrating on the fourth. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I hope so. <laughs> yeah. And what about your chess plans for this year? Uh, I don't know yet. Uh, we'll have a training camp soon with team, so I'm so excited because it's uh, it's really interesting all the time with girls, with coach, and you all the time get something new. Mm. And because um, soon will be Olympiad in September. In Batumi? Yes, so nice. uh, we will, pre we will uh, prepare a lot. Yeah. Yes. And do you have other hobbies? I mean, when you're not playing chess or studying chess or training camps, what do you do with your, your time? I mean, you have other hobbies and interests and things that you'd like to do? Uh, when I have a free time, I like to meet my friends because uh, normally I don't have uh, so many times. Uh, to to visit them and uh, I also like to to go to cinema you know mm -hmm. just uh, to sit in cafe with my friends and just to talk about you said to me we had dinner you said to me that you started having singing lessons ah it was so funny yeah, well, tell <laughs> us about that what happened um okay it was uh, I always uh, all the time I have some um, great great ideas you know uh, to create myself to learn something new uh, before before I was going to math uh, to have math lessons because my um, I in math I'm completely out you in know maths, yes right. and um, but my father he is a teacher of high math so it's I unusual for chess player to be poor at maths yeah, yeah but for me it's like I, t I cannot understand anything so I just decided that yeah. I want to understand something because with my maybe that's <laughs> why you blunder pawns you know <laughs> <laughs> Because with my <laughs> with my father it was always difficult because okay uh, he's in such a big level so he mm. can he couldn't uh, explain me everything so it was uh, my first idea and after yes as you mentioned I went to the singer uh, singer okay. um, lesson and uh, I just wanted to start something new you know just to make uh, to maybe to go to karaoke with friends but when, uh, after uh, our uh, teacher she made uh, some mini concert. And I forgot the text of my song, and after you know, just it was so, such a shame. You know, I was standing in some sand and uh, just forgot everything. And uh, then I decided it's better to forget uh, some variation during my game. So I just uh, decided that I will continue chess. But you, so you, you quit singing, you stop singing. Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay, in karaoke I can sing, mm. but okay, I just uh, it was just uh, I wanted to try. All right, that's good. Yeah. So I decided to okay to play chess is not so bad. Mm. <laughs> so. Any other questions? Yes. Hi, I got a question. Um, you showed us a game that had a lot of like really sharp, aggressive moves in it. Some of which I just did not expect at all. You know, I played them. Um, my question is like, if you're playing a high-level tournament, do you not get nervous with a position like that? Because for 
you know, for, for most of us, I guess, you know, we're, we're, you know, we're not playing at a high level, and if we lose a game, it doesn't really matter. But I guess if you lose a game, maybe it does matter. You, you know, if you if you have a position which is very sharp like that, and you've sacrificed a piece or whatever, does that does that not make you nervous, or do you just like? Does it make you nervous, yeah, those uh, kind of games? It, it depends, it depends. You have good nerves? You have good nerves? Uh, yeah, I would guess so, if you <laughs> want to play such a game, so okay. You, uh, but with these games, uh, you can also lost it, you know, hmm. just so easily. But uh, it, uh, it depends. If I play um, uh, in team, I get so nervous, because, uh, okay, it's uh, difficult also. And as Nigel uh, told me that I have to be responsible mm -hmm. for my moves also. But uh, if I play individually, it also depends. If it's uh, like uh, the highest tournament, like a world championship, for sure, I got so nervous. But if it's just like, uh, okay, here it's also nervous, but it's also like uh, I get some uh, training from such tournament. So for me, it's like a training. So for me, I just like, uh, I, I'm not going to say that I'm relaxed here. Uh, but uh, I enjoy so much, so I just wanted to uh, to learn something new. So I'm not uh, going to uh, to shake my hand, uh, to shaking. Mm -hmm. But um, I mean, when you played Hikaru here, for yes. example, did you feel how how did you feel during that game? Were you stressed? Were you excited? No, you I wasn't stressed, you know, because I I always thought that it will be a great experience for me. But uh, I was really happy to see how how he was nervous. He but was nervous. Yeah, he was nervous. All right. But he needs to win for sure. When you play with uh, well, that's, women, that's yes, true. Uh, that's yeah. you, he needs to uh, to win, and also uh, he wa he f always thought that uh, he's going to win. But after I uh, just continue to defend, and after he understood that it's not so easy, and uh, as you know, that it took uh, about almost uh, and eight hours. And you could hours. sense, or you could feel his nervousness. Yeah, he just put and uh, uh, take off his jacket all the time. You know, it was so funny to to <laughs> see it because I was uh, completely uh, I'm not uh, not so calm, but I, I wasn't nervous. For me, it was like uh, I already told it was like uh, training. So for mm. me, it was. Uh, cool and I really enjoyed this game even if it, it was too long but uh, you know just to meet uh, where else I can meet such a strong well exactly I mean yes. how many times have you played someone like Hikaru maybe that's the first mm, yes yeah, that's my first time hmm. so I yeah, I also waiting for other super strong grandmasters that I can play you know just to to, to also see to, to check myself how is hmm. my level you know what I can do and normally in Gibraltar, I think last time you came equal second in the women's for the women's prize. I mean, you normally do quite well here, don't you, in Gibraltar in this event? Uh, first time I got uh, the uh, third woman prize, and uh, next year I didn't win anything. Mm. And uh, last year, yes, I shared with a lot of uh, girls uh, second. Yeah. So it was. And how do you feel when you see the other girls here? I mean, you're doing well, but the other girls. With three out of three or two and a half out of three, you see Antoinette beat uh, Wang Ha. Oh, it was amazing! How does, how does that yes. make you feel? Are you happy for them or do you? Yeah, some I, I'm really happy for for them, you know. And uh, I've also uh, thanks for the question for sure. I was so happy for uh, our world championship, uh, Hui Fine, because uh, yeah. yeah, she won uh, this uh, in Bill tournament in Bill. I was so happy for her, you mm. know, just to show a man. You know, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and um, okay, we also can uh, play strong. Of course. Yeah, I was so so happy uh, for Nettie. So you support other other girls, other yeah, women. That's yeah, for sure. that's Brilliant. for sure. Brilliant. Okay, great. Yeah. So. Do we have any more questions for Valentina? Valentina, well, do you think you have a slight advantage when you sit down and face a man across the dress board? Uh, I don't know, but uh, it, de it depends. What do you mean? <laughs> what kind of yeah? Um, for sure, they uh, they have some. You prefer to play against a man or against a woman? Uh, here, I prefer f for sure to play uh, against men because uh, yes, I can uh, train a lot, and you know, uh, with uh, girls, I can meet in some other tournaments, but uh, here. It's my uh, luck, you know, just to meet some some super master, yeah. And uh, but uh, yeah, I agree that for for them it's uh, more difficult because they need to win, especially yes, when they want to get some prize, they mm -hmm. need to win. And so what do you think about when we have this? Somebody asked me this about women-only tournaments. 
not just the World Championship, but, uh, but just in general, you think that there's no reason for them to stop women only tournaments? <coughs> Uh, because some people say, well, women and men, they should all be, like, here, everyone should be playing together and that there shouldn't be this division. Yeah, I also uh, read this interview uh, by uh, Levon Aranyan, who told that uh, we need to play all together. But um, for, for me, uh, men tournament means that uh, I can train, but I also need to earn money. So for me, it means that uh, I need to play uh, with girls. Right, yes. that's, a g that's a good point, yeah. So if I uh, only play uh, in a men tournament, I cannot uh, get uh, en enough money. So maybe if I find some sponsor, you know, I, mm. I will, uh, who will pay for me, uh, I will play only in men tournaments. Right. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Do you have any pupils? Do you teach children? Do you have any... Uh, uh, no, not yet. No? But I really like kids and maybe in future, when I will start my career, I will uh, teach kids mm. how to play chess. Okay. Yeah. Right. Any final questions from our audience or online? I don't know anyone asking questions online. Or uh, am I allowed to just to make Nigel, yes, Nigel Shaw. Just, just of course. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you, can't you can't shut me up. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, it's, a, it's a comment, really, rather than a question. Uh, I mean, it's related to, to, to Brian's uh, question uh, on you know, men playing against women and so on. I just want to say that, you know, because I'm a dinosaur, and uh, in, in my day, actually, when I began playing chess, there were hardly any women playing. It was actually very, very rare. Mm. So, psychologically, it was much, much harder then. Whereas nowadays, um, you know, you meet uh, women players all the time. I mean, not as frequently as men players, but it's, there is absolutely nothing unusual about it. So once upon a time, uh, it really was uh, difficult. It was um, uh, for a male player, you know. I don't know if people can hear at home now, but I'll just summarize that yeah, Nigel sure. Short is saying then for benefit of those listening that when you were as a young man Nigel starting yeah. your career and, and for many years probably that it was very very rare to, to come across yeah. a woman in a tournament to play a yeah. woman and that was quite hard Nigel psychologically yeah yeah whereas now it's not unusual by any means certainly not here but also in uh, in, in other events yeah like uh, also when people ask me what is the difference between uh, men and women uh, chess uh, I think it's also um, depends of time control. Because here it's uh, for women, uh, as I told you before, hmm. for women it's really hard to play. Because you need to sit uh, all the time, you know, just uh, for many hours to concentrate. And normally, you know, women just think about other things, you know. <laughs> and, uh, and of course we are not uh, looking so much in uh, computer variation. But yeah, I agree. Uh, nowadays, it's uh, more um, But is that true? So you think it's a longer time control, like here is favors men more than women? Yeah, uh, yes, so? yes. Because for me, for example, it's really difficult to play because, okay, uh, I play really, I, I like to play fast, but when you got, okay, uh, uh, such, uh, okay, uh, after first control, after second control, uh, 50 minutes again, you know, just, mm. And after 15 minutes, it's too long. Uh, as you can see in my game, it's Hikaru. So. Right. But you had an easy game against Hikaru. You only played eight hours. You, you never <laughs> played against Valeri Salov. I played 11 hours against <laughs> Valeri Salov. <so. laughs> 11 hours, nice of Yeah. He is a dinosaur in the room. But you enjoy right, rapid chess, you enjoy blitz. Yeah. Yeah. You didn't uh, play last night in the team of four blitz event, here, did I, you? Yeah, because I play uh, in pro chess league. Right. You so had to play on yes. online. Okay. And but uh, I came to see how. how because once we played on the same team, yeah. I remember it was. Yeah. Yeah. It fun. was. It was uh, a lot of fun, and I really, really like to play uh, more uh, rapid and blitz than classic, because you know you you can get uh, this adrenaline much faster. Because mm. in classical it takes uh, about four, five hours, you know, just to take your adrenaline. But uh, here, uh, just so fast. So I really like this. Uh, yeah, when you uh, have a handshake and, you know, just uh, nervous and so on. And I really love it. Hmm. You played in Riot, didn't you? You played in Saudi? Yeah. You, played, yeah? you enjoyed that? Yeah. And uh, we were afraid 
uh, the first time because uh, okay, in Iran it wasn't it was so difficult because you need to wear a scarf and it's different traditionals. But uh, in Saudi it was uh, quite well because uh, they cancelled that we need to wear something. Yeah, you it was wear, like right? uh, free. Yes, and, uh, and you felt safe. You felt uh, yeah, it was uh, so so safe and uh, it organization was uh, yeah, perfect. Was brilliant and uh, mm. you know I, okay uh, price I was so high. Very yeah. good prizes, yes, that's right. Did you win good. some prizes? You did well in the... Yeah, I, uh, I finished second in, um, in Belize. So, so yeah. <laughs> so you won some money. Yeah, I won some, some money, yeah. Yeah, that was nice. Yeah, this was yeah. nice. And that was women only at tournament, exactly what you're saying. You know that you need to, these kind of tournaments, yeah, especially exactly that one, exactly because the I prizes said, were yes. so high. I also won a lot of money in London, you know, when I beat it. You uh, beat all the men. Yes, but... Mm. Uh, it and was that was also rapid chess, that was... Was the blitz?